today, if you look back what we achieved in two years, it's mind-blowing. When you get um, a couple of dedicated people together, you can move at the speed of light. Mainly I became vegan because of the animals. I'm not going to hurt any animal and I'm not going to ask anyone else to do it for me. Yeah, I think the scientific challenge is like something that is, yeah, you, you never get tired of working on it. You never know where, where it's going. Sometimes it goes so much better and sometimes it doesn't work at all. And you just have to like go again and again and again and try. And it's so satisfying when you worked on something for a longer time and then you finally get it and you, you get the results that you were hoping for and everything comes together. Yeah, really like my colleagues. Uh, we're a really good team. We're a pretty young crowd. It's also very versatile. Like there's a lot of different backgrounds, a lot of different nationalities. And people have different styles of working, but we know we all want to get to the same goal. So everyone like works together and you just yeah, team up. Everyone is happy for everybody's success. If an experiment works out and you tell others about it, they're immediately like, good job, you, like, you brought us all a little bit further. I always say that we grow a cow without the unnecessary parts. So we only grow what people actually want to eat. And we take the cells and we are really good at pretending that the cells are still in a cow. They get exactly the same things that they would get in a real animal. And they turn out to be a um, hamburger in the end. My dream would be that cultured meat becomes the norm, that you can buy it everywhere. People don't really think about it anymore. You can get it at McDonald's and Burger King. You can get it at the supermarket and it just becomes normality.